registered dietitian, and today, me and my kids are gonna be testing a vegan, gluten-free uh, pea protein pancake mix that I wanted to try, and that I actually took, uh, they, they were running a contest on Instagram recently, and I didn't win the contest, uh, the giveaway, but they did send me a coupon code uh, where I could buy my pancake mix, a, a pancake mix of choice, and all I would have to pay for is the, the shipping. So that was really, really nice of them. Uh, the company is called Coconut Whisk. I got the protein pancake and waffle mix. And as you can see, we made pancakes with it today. And the package, I just wanna go over some of the information on the package uh, so you guys are aware. You already, I already mentioned it's vegan and gluten-free. The protein that they use in here uh, comes from pea protein. It says it makes uh, one, one serving is of one pancake. And out of this whole package, it's supposed to make about 20, 20 pancakes. I used about two cups of water to make, make the whole package of pancakes. And I actually made some, a little bit smaller pancakes than what the, the package recommended. They say four inches, four, so four inch pancakes. I made mine a little bit smaller just because I like smaller pancakes and I have kids and I don't wanna overwhelm them with super big pancakes. I think they're cute. And I ended up actually making 22 pancakes instead of 20 like the package says. So, but it does say varied servings per container. So we made 22 pancakes using two cups of water for the whole entire package. Okay, um, but the ingredients, first ingredient is brown rice flour, pea protein, chickpea flour, potato starch, tapioca flour, and so on. Um, the sweeteners that they use, they use coconut sugar. So of, if anyone's allergic to anything, this, uh, this product does contain coconut, with, which is from the coconut sugar. But otherwise, very, very clean ingredients, nothing alarming. I, I was really excited to try this. I like the packaging. The packaging is really, really neat. I'll, I'll uh, give a bigger picture of that as well. And yeah, I, I also wanted to mention com how it compares to another pancake mix that we had in the house already. And as far as the sodium content, I did look at the back, it does have 200 milligrams of sodium per pancake, which is 22.7 grams. A serving size of these pancakes is two four inch pancakes, 46 grams. And out of two pancakes, 46 grams, this uh, pancake mix has 470 milligrams, whereas this one only has 200 milligrams per pancake. So if we were to double that, then uh, they're, they're pretty comparable as far as the sodium content. This one might be slightly less sodium, but only half a gram of fat per pancake. This one has one, you know, similar one gram of, of fat per two pancakes. So yeah, sodium wise, uh, nutrition wise, they're pretty comparable, okay? Um, and yeah, are you guys ready to try some pancakes? Yeah. Okay, so how many pancakes do you want? Um, I don't know. You want to start with two? I Can want you eat one. Just one? Yeah. Okay. I want whipped cream. Okay, we got some pancake syrup, we got maple syrup, we got whipped cream. I want whipped cream. We have berries. I want whipped cream. I want whipped cream. All right, Mira, we'll help you get your pancakes. Okay, and yeah, I will. When I was mixing the batter, I do want to mention that because this uh, the protein source is from pea proteins, the batter did smell really strong. Like he he my four year old smelled it and he said it was it was yucky smelling because it's very it's a very strong pea smell like green peas. But I will I was surprised that after you cooked the pancakes that smell completely went away. And plus, if you're adding anything to your pancakes, like syrup or berries or whipped cream or whatnot, what you're not even gonna taste the peas. So really good high source of protein. Oh, and also per pancake, these have five grams of protein, whereas the other pancake mix has five grams of protein in two pancakes. So protein wise, the coconut whisk pancakes win. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of maple syrup on mine. And I love trying to include a fruit or a vegetable at my meals. So I'm gonna add a lot of berries. And I don't have any forks. All right, let me in. at the same time, so wait for us. Okay, are you ready, Cruz? Yes, yeah. only one bite. Yes, okay, ready, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna say one, two, three, ready? One, two, three. Mmm. Mm. Good? They're pancakes. Mm. So, thank you, Coconut Whisk. I feel like these pancakes are a total win and they are an excellent, excellent option for people that need a gluten-free pancake or are living a vegan lifestyle. So, yay, they did good.